Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn why it's necessary to factor both the numerator and the denominator in a fraction. Now first, it's only necessary when you're trying to simplify the expression. If you're trying to change the value of the expression, you don't have to factor both. But let's take a simple fraction like 2 over 8. Now 2 over 8, think, of it, think about it like a, like a pizza pie. So you have 8 slices in a pizza pie, and this is like saying you have 2 of those slices. So if we simplify it to 1 over 4, we're factoring both the numerator and the denominator. We're dividing each by 2, because 2 goes into both. 2 is a factor of both. And 1 out of 4 is like saying you had 2 out of 8, because for each 4 slices, you had 1. However, if you just factored the numerator and said 1 over 8, well, that's different. That's like saying you had 1 slice out of 8. Or if you just factored the denominator, like 2 over 4, well, that's different. That's like saying you had two slices out of four or four slices out of eight. So you have to factor both the numerator and the denominator if you're trying to stay with the same value. Um, I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned why it's necessary to factor both the numerator and the denominator. Thanks.